So it is another month, another update. This time it's for August 2024. And I have one I really like and one that I really don't like. <laughs> Let me show you. Okay, so the interesting update this month is the visual level format strings. What is that? So what happens is that you could not change the format strings for visual calculations. So calculations made directly on the vision, not on the model. Now you're able to do it, but they've done more than that. And that's the, where the exciting part starts. So you can change now the formatting on three levels. You can have it on the model, you can have it on the visual, and you can have it on elements in the visual, which means that one column or one measure can have multiple formatting depending on where you're showing it. <laughs> and to be honest, formatting was one of the biggest issues that Power BI had, and maybe with this is resolved. So let's take a look. Formatting in Power BI has always driven me nuts. I cannot understand how a BI tool does formatting this bad, but now it might be fixed. So they show an example in the blog that displays it beautifully. So they show you the model, and then they show you a measure in the model, and they show you where you can change it to decimals. So now you have changed the formatting at the model level. Then it shows you a visualization and it tells you that you can either change these in the model, so for everywhere, or you can change it for the visual. Now, the hierarchy for the formatting works like this. First is model. If there is a visual formatting, that will take precedence. And if there is an element formatting, that will take precedence. So now that you have a visual formatting string, the one in the model will not be shown, okay? And then it goes on and it shows you another visualization that has data labels. So it tells you that you can actually change the data labels formatting. And if that visual had already a visual formatting, the element formatting will take precedence. So you can have three types of formatting depending on where you are looking. And that is fantastic news. Congratulations, Power BI team. I really think that's good. The rest of the updates, there's not much to say. So they have the dynamic per recipient subscriptions is generally available. It means that they iron out all the bugs so that you can use it with confidence. And that is basically that you can send subscriptions tailored to the recipient. So if you have a sales team, they can get the report filter by the old territory, for example, or products or whatever it is that you want. Deliver subscriptions to OneDrive and SharePoint is not generally available. The same thing is stable now. You can use it freely without worrying about it breaking. And they have now updated the save and upload to OneDrive experience in Power BI. What they've done basically is that when you save it, that a Power BI file is stored in OneDrive, it will save on OneDrive too at the same time. And it will tell you, hey, wait a second, I'm still updating in OneDrive. Okay, so they both will be synced. Now, data limit. <laughs> so data limit allows you to set how much data a visual can consume. So if you have a lot of data, you can put a limit and say, just load a hundred rows or a thousand rows or whatever it is. Um, I think this is a horrible idea, to be honest. I really, in a normal tool, when you have a lot of data, you paginate. You paginate the data. You don't set a data limit. People are going to wonder, like, where is the rest of the data? This is broken. Something is wrong. Developers are going to go mad because they're going to get calls saying, I'm missing data. You paginate the data. You don't set a hard limit. That is crazy. So I hope they rethink and they start paginating all the visuals. Like, that's the normal way to do it. The next one is DAX query view is now available in the web. There's a lot of people that are excited about it. So now you have it. And yeah, that's basically, there's not much more to say about this update, but again, it is a summer update. So hopefully next month we will see more things. I guess there are like some big conference coming up for Microsoft. So they are saving the goodies for there, hopefully. So this is it. This is all for me. Let me know which one is your favorite, if any, and I will see you in the next video.